Space is a vast subject. I think there are many things in space that human brains just can't process. Still, our brilliant scientists and astronomers are keeping their trust in science and continue to engage on a quest to find God and understand his creation. Recently, scientists found something very strange about Jupiter. Being the largest planet of our solar system, any significant changes in Jupiter's behavior concerns the scientists of the Earth. To find out the latest discovery about Jupiter, stay tuned! Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm your host and today we are going to look at the very recently discovered strange facts about Jupiter. So without any further delay, let's start. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration just released a photo of two storms building on Jupiter's surface. NASA said via their Instagram account, the image taken by the Juno spacecraft's visible light imager, JunoCam, during Juno's 38th flyby at around 3,815 miles altitude shows two huge spinning storms brewing on Jupiter's surface. Above the lower storm, bright pop-up clouds can be seen, throwing shadows on the cloud bank below. These clouds are often 31 miles across, despite how little they look about the enormous storm. According to NASA, the lightest clouds seen are the relatively little clouds that dot the bottom ellipse, while higher clouds are often lighter in hue. Even these light clouds at 50 kilometers across are not little. They're so far up that their shadows are projected on the spinning circular below them. Color and contrast have been enhanced in the featured image. Large ovals are high-pressure areas that stretch beyond 1,000 kilometers and can endure for years. The great red spot on Jupiter is the largest oval on the planet and it has been around for hundreds of years. Juno photos are used to study cloud dynamics on Jupiter, which help scientists better comprehend deadly typhoons and storms on Earth. Siegelman, a researcher at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography at UC San Diego, studied the most recent precise photos of the planet. For the first time, she and her colleagues demonstrated that the physical forces and energy sources that cause cyclones on Jupiter are explained by a type of convection observed on Earth. Because air and water are both fluids, the same physics concepts apply to the atmosphere of the gas giant in our seas. Jupiter, our solar system's four octillion pound elephant, creates massive cyclones, large storms that spin around low pressure zones. Some are thousands of miles wide, as big as the United States, and have wind gusts of up to 250 miles per hour. The planet's North Pole has eight of the biggest, while the Southern Pole has five. Scientists have theorized about their origins for years, but Siegelman and her colleagues demonstrated how they arise by mapping out storms and analyzing wind speeds and temperatures. Among the chaotic clouds, little spinning vortices appear here and there. The cyclones expand by consuming smaller clouds and gathering energy from them, allowing them to continue spinning. It's an ingenious technique to investigate severe weather on a planet 500 million kilometers away. The cyclones on Jupiter are formed by a process known as moist convection. Deep in the planet's atmosphere, warm, less dense air rises steadily, while colder, denser air drifts down towards the chilly emptiness of space. This causes turbulence, as seen in Jupiter's spinning moisture-filled ammonia clouds. While Jupiter's atmosphere is similar to Earth's, there are several variances. For one thing, the gas giant has no atmosphere at all, whereas our planet has just a thin one. With land and seas forming a solid barrier between the ground and the sky, this permits Jupiter to develop weather patterns that aren't observed on Earth, such as the Pentagon of Cyclones on its South Pole. Which Siegelman is still attempting to figure out why. Beyond the physics of Jupiter's massive cyclones, Siegelman feels there is another lesson to be learned. Climate and weather explorations on Earth and on other worlds appear to be two sides of the same coin. You could think of Jupiter's vast size or the colorful bands of gases and extend over its face when you think of it. You may also consider the famous storm, a massive, churning crimson cycle, twice the size of the Earth and has been a symbol of our solar system's biggest planet for more than a century. The great red spot on Jupiter has enthralled humanity for eons. Amateur astronomer Samuel Heinrich Schwab first noticed Jupiter's great red spot in 1831. Therefore, we know the storm has been around for at least 150 years. However, it may be even older. Some astronomers believe astronomer Gian Domenico Cassini was alluding to the Great Red Spot when he wrote about a permanent storm in 1665. Jupiter's Great Red Spot is a massive storm that circles the planet in its southern hemisphere and is nearly twice as large as Earth. The storm's core has relatively calm winds, while the storm's fringes have wind speeds of 270 to 425 miles per hour. That's more than double the speed of even the most powerful storms on the planet, which may reach 175 miles per hour. 
An eastward moving atmospheric band to the north and a westward moving atmospheric band to the south restrict the storm. Those swirling bands are what caused the storm to erupt in the first place. And they've kept it churning for almost a century. The Great Red Spot on Jupiter, a massive storm that has raged on for hundreds of years, has been diminishing for a long time. But NASA experts are just now beginning to understand why astronomers have been trying to figure out what the planet is like since Galileo found it in the early 1600s. Over the ages, astronomers have discovered numerous intriguing pieces of information about Jupiter, from learning that its days are around 10 hours long to identifying water vapor near one of its many moons. NASA is debating whether or not the Great Red Spot is being eroded by the surrounding weather systems. The agency has seen storm pieces in adjoining clouds, and the storm's motion appeared to have been stabilized by the surrounding winds. Juno arrived in Jupiter's orbit in mid-2016 and has been busily monitoring the planets and its moons since then. Juno's course has been modified several times, allowing it to pass over the Great Red Spot and collect data for scientists on Earth to examine. The Great Red Spot has been shrinking for almost 150 years, according to scientists. Now that they have this new understanding, NASA experts hope they will be able to figure out what's going on with the storm in the near future. Also, recently noises were caught near Jupiter's moon Ganymede were just published by NASA. Ganymede is our solar system's biggest moon. It's so massive that it dwarfs Mercury, a planet in its own right. Ganymede also has its own magnetic field, which none of the other moons in the solar system have. Juno, NASA's spacecraft, is now performing measurements in Jupiter's vicinity. Juno collected Ganymede's electromagnetic waves earlier this year. NASA has translated these waves into sound and published what is being referred to as the sound of Ganymede by scientists. The creepy sound has been made public. The Juno spacecraft performed its closest flyby of Jupiter's moon Ganymede, the solar system's biggest moon, on June 7, 2021. The frozen Jovian moon is bigger than Mercury and the solar system's only natural satellite with a magnetic field. Juno captured Ganymede's electromagnetic waves as it flew by, revealing what the moon's music is like. After researchers translated it to a frequency people can hear, a 50-second audio recording comprising a wide range of creepy, whistle-like noises was published during the 2021 American Geophysical Union Fall Conference. Juno soared 645 miles over Ganymede's surface at 41,600 miles per hour to record the audio. The recording was acquired by Juno's Waves Instrument, which measured radio and plasma waves in Jupiter's magnetosphere. The Waves device was created to aid scientists in understanding of the interactions between the planet's magnetic field, atmosphere, and magnetosphere. An audio visualization chart is one in which a sharp change in frequencies is detected around the midpoint of the recording, according to experts. The alteration may have occurred when the Juno spacecraft approached a new area of Ganymede's magnetosphere, according to researchers. The tonal shift may have occurred when Juno sped past the moon's night side to enter the side closest to the sun, based on time. Jupiter's massive magnetosphere interacts with Ganymede's internal magnetic field, which is generated by its liquid iron core. Jupiter's magnetosphere is the most powerful of any planet, according to Science Alert. The Galileo satellite, which examined Jupiter in the 1990s and early 2000s, discovered that plasma waves surrounding Ganymede are a million times stronger than those around Jupiter. According to research published in the Cambridge University Press in 2004 on magnetospheric interactions with satellites, Ganymede's magnetic field punches a hollow into Jupiter's magnetosphere, which generates a small magnetosphere within Jupiter's own. Scientists also think Ganymede contains seas beneath the ice that covers its surface. They believe that life might live in these strange waters. So in a sound sample, was an extraterrestrial crying out to humanity? That's all for now, guys. Drop a like if you liked the video. Don't forget to share the video with your dear ones. If you have any suggestions, please put them in the comment section. We would appreciate it. Due to the new variant of the coronavirus, we all are currently going through a tough time. So stay safe and keep your family safe. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace.